The most uh, insidious aspect of the household charge is that it has been imposed as part of the IMF EU deal, which underlines the welding of the bank debt to the sovereign debt. So when people find themselves in difficulties with this, and for some it will be destroyed that breaks the camel's back, then they can at least have the satisfaction of knowing that somewhere a major bondholder will sleep easily in their bed that night. Indeed, if we want to know what more is coming down the track, all we need to do is to read the IMF EU Memorandum for Understanding, rather than bothering with the likes of the programme for government. Programme for government means nothing. It's the Memorandum for Understanding that determines where we are and what's happening. The Memorandum of Understanding with the EU and the IMF commits Ireland to the introduction of a property tax of 2012 and to an increase in the property tax for 2013. So at least we cannot be fooled into believing that these are temporary measures or that they will not be increased. The household charge is in fact only a holding device prior to the introduction of a full-scale property tax, which the government has committed to introduce this time next year at the, late, at the latest. I, felt, I refer to reading the original mem memorandum for understanding because, of course, there was an attempted sleight of hand when the updated and ironically named stability program was published last April. It refers several times to the alleged independence of the Irish government in deciding what to do in order to ensure that the debt is repaid, which many, of course, believe that it cannot. But that which we can happily destroy the country in the process of trying to do that. It's a bit like when you owe Tony Soprano money and he gives you the choice whether to burn down your house and claim the insurance or stop feeding the children. Like the IMF and Goldman Sachs, the Sopranos are not fussy, just so long, of course, as you pay them back. On page 21 of the updated stability programme, it is stated, and I quote, of course policy is a matter for the government. That is a total and absolute nonsense. The only matter which the Irish state currently decide is where exactly to implement the massive cuts that we witnessed here last week. The overall strategy is decided by the IMF and the EU, and as I said, the programme for that is laid down in the original Memorandum of Understanding. The Minister, of course, admitted that the household charge was necessitated by the IMF EU uh, programme of austerity, and yet the government would also claim that they are still free agents. As at, at last, the Tarnister had a good grace to quickly abandon his bravado of stating that it was either Frankfurt's way or Labour's way. And he was very out his chest out and he shouting that about prior to the election. Frankfurt's way is Labour's way, as we have seen. There is also the claim that, that the charge is needed to pay for local services. It is but only because the state has stopped funding those services out of the overall revenue. People's taxes will not be reduced, and in fact, this charge and the common property tax constitute an extra tax, but for no more or improved services. The services actually are declining. Indeed, the overall impact of the austerity program and other measures will ensure that the level of public provision through local services, just as through the overall public service, will continue to decline. So people are being hit in both ways. They are paying more for less. The whole assault on people's pockets and quality of life is being justified on the basis that the austerity programme is required in order to ensure that there are teachers, there are nurses and there are guardi. Of course, we all know that that is, that is nonsense. Yes, we may have to borrow to pay for services, but we always have done, at least since 1932, when the first Fine Gael government, which had a similar attachment to look after the banks and not providing public services. This is not about paying for public services. It's about paying for the uh, bank debts. That is why we have the IMF, and that is why we have a new double form of taxation, and one that my party will be strongly opposing. My colleague, Deputy Brian Stanley, mentioned about uh, public meetings taking place all over the country in opposition to the septic tank charges. I, had, I was present in this door last um, Friday night when over 400 people turned up 400 ordinary citizens that are going to be directly affected by the, by the, tax, the tax that has happened. It was very obvious that despite the invitation, neither government TD turned up. And that is an indication of how fearful the government TDs are in face of the public because they are being exposed 
in the U-turns uh, that are constantly ongoing as a, as a result of their pre-election policies. The, these charges, the septic tank charge, uh, the penalties that are imposed upon it, and what's ironically here was that if, if, as it probably will happen, that septic tanks will have to be upgraded uh, in order to complement the, uh, the regulation or the terms of the regulation, what will happen here is that people who have been uh, had uh, get planning permission from 1975 to the present day, do nothing in whatsoever in the world to in any way undermine that planning, comply with that planning permission, are now going to be expected to put a lot of money into septic tanks in order to update them to the current requirements. When in fact, that regulation was there in 1975, it was not implemented, and the only Joe Soap and the public are going to have to be caught and pay for this. As an absolute disgrace, I can see it right across this country, people are going to refu refuse to pay. Matthew McGrath is going to lead the campaign, he said, against the refusing to pay. And I, I, I think uh, uh, political leaders, are, are genuine political leaders of political parties who are concerned about the poor, who are concerned about the rights and entitlements of ordinary decent citizens, will be with the people in opposing these uh, terrible uh, austerity measures that have been brought about by this government.